Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna be making up a really delicious brunch for my family. It is Sunday, everybody kind of slept in, we chilled a little bit and now we're hungry. And I've been messing with my new waffle maker here from Fever. If you're interested in waffle maker, I will have this linked below. It is fantastic. I will also leave the review I did on it, but I wanted to do something a little different with it. So I have this bag of hash browns that I got from the food bank, and I'm pretty sure the reason it was donated is because it has a slit in here. Whoever was stocking this probably opened it up with the box cutter when they went to open the box, and it sliced it right down the center. So they just put some packing tape on there, and this got donated to the food bank, and now I'm gonna use it to feed my family. So my plan is to put this on my waffle maker and kind of make like waffle hash browns is what I'm hoping will work. Whoa, almost, did you see that? Almost dropped bacon. That is a cardinal sin right there. So I have some peppered bacon, sliced pepper bacon that I cooked in the oven this morning, as well as some sausage patties. I have some of my farm fresh eggs that I'm gonna scramble over in a skillet, and then I'm gonna make some gravy as well. And one of the pieces of bacon had a lot of fat and just a little bit of meat. So I didn't cook that one, and I saved this fat because I'm thinking I could put some of this on the waffle iron and then put the hash browns and maybe that'll help crisp them. I don't know, this is kind of all an experiment and I figured you'd like to come along with me and see if it works. So let's quit jabbering and let's get to cooking. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Carolina and I live in Montana. I do a lot of food bank hauls, pantry cooking and canning and preserving on my channel. If that's the kind of content you're into, I hope you'd consider subscribing. Come on and join me in the kitchen. Alrighty, let's get into these hash brown waffles. I have no idea if this is even a thing. Never tried it before. Oh, they're shredded hash browns. I was expecting diced. I mean, literally on the picture it's shredded, so I don't know why I was expecting that. All right, let's put some. I tried cutting this when it was warm already, so that didn't work out too well. Maybe this will help crisp up the, Look at that sizzle though, this pan definitely gets hot. Let's see, it's on a four. I'm just gonna put my hand in there. I'm just doing it. Now I pulled these out of the freezer this morning. They've been sitting on the counter for a couple of hours. I've been up already, so I was just waiting on husband to get up so I could finish this breakfast. So he'll have a hot breakfast. Cause you know, I love them and stuff. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna do. And then we'll close this. Kind of press down. Yes, honey? All right, so I'm going to push this down a bit and get that going. And while this is cooking, we are going to go over and start our gravy and eggs. All right, let's get this on. I'm gonna have it on like an eight. Now this is all, this is all the bacon grease and the sausage grease I got from baking two packs of pepper bacon and one pack of sausage. Like you, it was probably up here with cold bacon grease. So I topped that off and then I got a whole cup. So we're gonna use some of this to cook our eggs and our gravy. I'm not doing like sausage gravy or anything. I'm just going to do straight up white gravy using bacon, using bacon grease though. Okay, sorry, a rude kid interruption here. Be a lot easier to run this family channel if I didn't have this darn family. Alrighty, I got my eggs here. I think I got a dozen around that. I didn't really count. Just until the bowl was full. And then I am added a little bit of water to it. I really like adding water to my scrambled eggs instead of milk. It saves on the milk and you don't really need it. Like the water is what helps steam the eggs to make a super fluffy egg. So just add a little bit of water to your scrambled eggs and you'll be set. Add this to our bacon grease. When you're working with cast iron, you want your pan to be hot when you add things to it. Hot like my love life, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. And then I just kind of slowly pull inward as it cooks. And by the time you get around to the other side where you started, that has cooked. And this helps kind of make a fluffy egg as you just push towards the center. Oh, yeah. 
Look at that color. Oh, guys, I'm totally in love with chickens and farm fresh eggs. We've been having chickens. This is our third year straight. We tried raising them in Missouri and it just didn't work out. There was too many predators and we could not keep them alive. All right, looking beautifully. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. We're gonna put a lid on it. I always like to salt them after they're cooked. Those look perfect. All right, put a lid on it. Let those cook a little bit. Let's go check our hash browns. Oh. I mean, they're just kind of cooked. Maybe I should have done more next time. I'm gonna let them cook a little longer. Looks pretty good though. All right. Just by having that lid on there, it cooked those eggs the rest of the way. So let's get them in a bowl here. Oh. So I'm just gonna stick these in the oven to keep hot. All right, well that's heating up. Let's take these out. Not quite what I was envisioning. Oh, but look, that bacon did cook. See that crispy bacon there. I'm gonna have to salt these too. Bacon back on here. And then I'm gonna drizzle some of our bacon grease on this too. I think that'll help. There you go. Keep that close. All right, here's our pan we're reusing. Probably be about half a cup. Maybe a quarter cup of bacon grease there. Equal amounts of flour. Mask it up. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit to a six. This is making a roux. This is how you're gonna make your gravy. Now this is brown because I have half all-purpose half wheat flour that I use just as my base flour for everything. And also, you want this to cook for about a minute, boiling like this, because that's how it reduces the flour taste. And the flour kind of gets this nutty flavor to it. It's really good. But you have to let this part cook, or else you're just going to have a very floury gravy, which is no good. Very nice. And then I'm going to add some shelf-stable milk here, just kind of whisking as you add it. You see it's getting thick, so keep adding. An actual whisk would be good too. I don't know why I'm deciding to fork it, but I'm doing it. Oh, fork it. <laughs> so what you just said, husband? <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> oh, I love Sundays when husband's home. Kids are out with grandma causing trouble. And husband and I in here having a good time while we cook. I love you that you guys get to hang out with us and experience some of my life and my happiness, you know. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna take a break from adding the milk because this is kind of quit being thick. It cooled down a bit. So let's see, as it heats up and starts simmering, how thick it gets if we're going to need to add some more. I am going to put salt in there as well as black pepper.
I'm gonna go salt the hash browns too while I think about it. Yeah, it's starting to thicken up as it heats up. All right, so that's a little thick. Let's add some more milk. Give it a try. I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt. I think that's good though, I'm gonna turn that off. And there's our gravy. All right, back over here. Oh, that's looking a little better since we put some grease in there. Mm, I think I'm gonna keep letting them cook though. Here's our cooked ones though. Just look pretty good. Let's see, these I cooked these warnings, so they're not heated up anymore. Maybe I'll put them on the waffle thing a little bit. Just to kind of reheat them up a little bit. That looks pretty good, guys. All right, let's try and get this one up. I guess this is the hard part, just trying to get it up. Oh, I did it. Doesn't look too bad. Alright, so let's come here, get some eggs. The kids are probably going to want ketchup on this instead of gravy, you just watch. <laughs> Gideon likes his eggs with ketchup. Here we go. And then over to the gravy. Oh my goodness. Now this is a Sunday worthy breakfast, let me tell you. Oh my gosh. My husband's gonna be like, why is there no sausage in the gravy? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I'm trying to get a good bite. Look at that. Hot. Mm. Something about eggs with gravy is just phenomenal. Well, I was going to give this one to husband, but it might be mine. Grr. Grr. Well, that was exciting. I'm glad that I tried something new with this waffle maker. Now, I will have this linked down below as well as my review on it. And I make some really tasty vanilla homemade waffles. So give those a try if you want like a recipe that pretty much is like an ego. It is delicious. Sounds like everybody's coming in because they're smelling this bacon. So I'm going to get going. But thanks for coming and hanging out with me and husband while I whipped up some breakfast. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll catch you next time on Mama Baird's. Mm -hmm.